not for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Loveline. 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 With Adam Carolla. And Dr. Drew. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew is where tonight, Drew? Pittsburgh. Because Pittsburgh. somebody dropped a nickel. You, you have to wait till I say why. Why oh, is Dr. Drew in Pittsburgh? Because, because somebody. somebody dropped a nickel. There yes. we go. Yeah. Jeff Probst is in studio tonight from my favorite show, Survivor. What up, Drew? Guatemala. Hey, this season and uh, always exciting, always uh, always provocative. I love the uh, big spider web rope challenge last week and the tug of war, and uh, people are getting their butts kicked and it's awesome. It, I, I love it. It's been a savage season, and it's sure. the and it and it's the eleventh season, which is unbelievable. But it's not the eleventh year. Right, it's the eleventh yeah. right. But you know, I think as I, as I watch Survivor, it just sort of makes me think about pro sports it's like when you used to watch football when i grew up watching football guys got tackled they <laughs> wrap their arms around a guy and pull him down to the ground now some 300 pound brother just goes sailing in the air over three guys and puts his helmet in the small of someone's back and that's a tackle it's been up right it, it, it is yeah. you know early survivor was you know here's a canteen here's a snake right. bite kid what do you want from home Oh, you want to bring a generator and a big screen TV? Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. We're only giving you 30 pounds of beans and 600 it's burgers true. to live off of. Now we're just going to cut you and throw you in the ocean. That th This is, I mean, I could only imagine what the, and, and I'm sure the people in season 25 will be looking back at season 11 and saying, well, you guys weren't hobbled before the show, yeah. at least. Your probes yeah. didn't take a sledgehammer and break your right foot like they do to us. We had it tough. You guys just didn't have anything. And, you know, you can't go backwards. You, no. You can't. You're, you do have to keep moving forward. And every season that we try to design the new creative, that's what goes through our head is, okay, we, right. we're not giving them anything because we've already established that. How much more can we do? So this time we start with an 11-mile trek through the jungle, which kicked their ass. Well, let me tell you how you can go back okay, good. somebody dies then you got to yeah. slide yeah, back yeah i not. was gonna say how, how do you avoid getting all these tropical illnesses i mean how do you avoid it uh how does jeff avoid know. it he's in a even Ramada jeff. in guatemala you, even jeff. <laughs> you know that's a have good you got question. what is the worst thing you've gotten beside a bad hand job on one of these trips <laughs> you know i have I, I have not gotten any kind of an illness per really se. I've, I've had a couple of the um intestinal stuff that goes around because of our because of our catering Right. You know what? Here's the worst thing. Oh, local, thing. local catering. No, it's worse than that. It's our own guys. We have a mess tent <laughs> with, uh, you know, it's just like you're in the army and you come right. in and there's 10 little tins and they have like lasagna in one and then this other stew right. in the other. And guys come in with their, they've been out in the field all day and they don't wash their hands and they come in and they beat that big spatula and they get themselves some lasagna and then right. they put it back and you grab it. And our doctor always tells us, he goes, your biggest risk of disease is our own food because it's all our all of our people contaminated hand, hand to mouth drew always says it all the time that's how it gets spread around right Drew? absolutely did they, but they do they have you taking anti-malarial meds or yep. anything yeah yeah, yeah we all take right. anti-malaria and we get right. uh lots of shots for the places we go right. but okay. you're right it's surprising that we don't get more get leash, leash mania or tutsukamushi or something no, but the, you know, a couple of places they that huh? we've gone, we have to. What's that? Elephantitis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, filarial disease. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And they give you the pill to take for that, and it it just it looks like it knocks a decade off your life. It's, it's got big. so much <laughs> punch in it. Jawbreaker size. I've it yet beats to the take one. It's better than the giant testy that well, that here, will, here, will come of this. Here's the thing, Jeff Probes is obviously superior hardy stock. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. guy's a survivor. Yeah, right. Well, look at him. Man, they yeah. idle, good looks. He's a, he's scrappy. He's a survivor. You know that, what? Speaking, you know, if, if a Corolla would have been taken down in season three. Oh, hell yes. But speaking of man, they idle, good looks, I'm, I'm looking at a two-page spread in uh, Rolling Stone about you. Yeah, yeah, the uh, TLC show. Uh, the uh, crazy. Adam they went Corolla nuts. Project. A, a poor Oswaldo. Yeah. How's yeah, that going to work for him? The uh, 
the uh, other show I do, uh, I'm going to be doing on TLC, which uh, starts uh, in a week or a week from yesterday, is uh, they're going nuts. They're getting like billboards and Rolling Stone right, and all on. kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's, not, it's nice because I've, I've been doing this for 10 years, Man Show, Love Line, all that stuff. No one ever got a got a billboard out or anything tlc <laughs> you know you know what tlc is tlc is like a fat horny chick just dying to do anything you know what i mean <laughs> comedy central is like the hot blonde cheerleader you know mtv mtv is the hot blonde dyke like <laughs> I, I don't fat get away with that penis you got nothing for me tlc is just that fat chick with the bad skin and you're like uh listen i got a shot start sucking <laughs> that's wow. it wow yeah can there, you say there, that there, I think I did, and yeah, they're they're impressive. and they're and, and let me tell you something. When they're done giving you the BJ, they're like, "Thank you." When can we do this again? And you're like, "Let me jot this down." What is this, Mr. TLC? Corolla? TLC Discovery Network. All I'll right. tell you, the these people, channel. the Learning Channel. These people are excited over at uh, TLC. So uh, God hey, bless them. Speaking yeah. of excited, tonight, like mm -hmm. every night this week, we're giving away another iPod Nano. Mm -hmm. And this tonight, you have to listen for the music from System of a Down. The song is called Question. They'll be in our bumper music as we come out of commercial. I'd bet yep. in the second hour. It's just my guess. And mm -hmm. first person to say iPod Nano to the screener. If you're 18 years of older, you'll win the Nano and 10 iTunes. Right. Downloads. Yeah, and don't screw up. Like last, last night, someone said iPod, and then they used the N-word. And... Uh, <laughs> No, I, that's I, no good. Yeah, no, you're not going to no. get a nano for no. that. You, you. I know it was a, an honest mistake, but we need the word nano to come that's out of your N -A -N -O. mouth. That's N A N O. That that's right. Yeah, yeah. And it was late, and you know we cut them a break, but uh, they're not going to get the nano with that kind of language. Jeff, do you, when you go on these trips, you got to take you got to take one of these things with you. You yeah. got to take the iPod and a metric ton of porn. That's basically <laughs> that's how I would pack like one 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 small suitcase with you know clothes and toiletries and then and then a pallet of but porn. See, I, it's a, it's a whole new world now because I got my woman coming to location. Oh. Is she there tonight? No <laughs> porn. She's not here tonight, but she's go, she's got to go with them to you know. And Guatemala she's listening or tonight. Wherever. She's certainly listening, right? Oh, you know what? Course. Actually, I, I I left her. I put her on some ambient. She's uh. Uh -huh. she's knocked her out. Knocked her out. What happened? Put her, put she's, her no, on she's just, she's just been down. So I said, all right, pop an Ambi and I'll see you well, in a couple she, hours. She's lucky Jeff didn't dart her because <laughs> Jeff, you know, he's got that choker. He's wearing the khakis. It's you get out of line with ways. Jeff, he'll dart your ass. <laughs> Ask any woman to be with Jeff. He'll dart you, put you right down on a futon. You better hope you hit something soft after he darts you. Just by go the, right down. By the way, let me just say the last time I saw you guys was this this ridiculous softball game. That's right. Yes, yes. And I just would like to give a little shout out to the gnome from Lord of the Rings, and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, huh? he was. Uh, he was one one of the uh, 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 Mackenzie Sean yeah. Aston. One of those Aston. Mackenzie Aston. Yeah. The, here's your, here's what they were both I, there. They were both there. I played a bunch of those games, and I've really realized that the the Aston brothers, Mackenzie or Sean or whoever. They became celebrities so they could infiltrate these baseball games and kick everyone's ass. That's really what happened. They're, <laughs> they're like double agents in the Cold War or something. Like, I don't think anyone's interested in acting or movies or anything. It's just they, they just the... do that. They're actually professional ball players who take acting gigs <laughs> so they can come in and mop up on the softball field. I've never felt less cool. <clears throat> I don't think ever than that. That was the, that was the most closed in sort of too cool for school yeah. group of folks interesting to be a part of the thing too is it's it's hard to look good in a baseball uniform and sneakers like <laughs> if you're wearing the cleats you're fine any kind of uniform football uniform and sneakers baseball yeah. and sneakers it's always a bad look it's the yeah. fat manager that's the look that he that he had right, he sports but we had we had softball uniforms that was even worse. Yeah, you still look like you, you look like hell. Yeah, you the, can put the, the cap on backwards; doesn't really help. There's right, still something not right. But you know, Probes fills out. He fills out a jersey quite nice. Yeah, Marie. Yeah. You're 26. Yes, I am. What's up? All right, well, I'm calling because I am very confused about the fact that my boyfriend actually seems to be answering ads on the, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but Craigslist. Oh, yeah. yeah. Casual yeah. encounters, men on men kind of thing. He's answering right. the ads or he's setting up appointments with these people? He's, well, yeah, I guess so because he's not placing the ads, but he's obviously answering them. How do you know? That's well, um, I was looking for a resume I sent out on my sent folder items in a Yahoo, and I found a sent like, message for a big 
All you right, know. hold on a second. It, it, it makes me realize that the computer is the male form of the diary, and we made it thousands of years without the diary, never being stupid enough to a keep male. the diary, mm -hmm. the male. Mm. Females get busted left and right. There's not a girl who made it through high school without <laughs> stepdad came, in, came into the room, read you were smoking a joint with Billy Johnson at the reservoir, and you got the second base, and now you're grounded. And I would always be yelling at him, why are you so stupid that you write down all that crap you do in a little book? Your mom's going to find it. The computer has become oh. this for men. They're getting popped it, except, left except in line. It's more symbolic because the men leave a trail. Just There's a, yes. a trail of time stamps. Yeah, I mean, you know that it was 2.22 in the a.m. on the night of the 25th on Tuesday morning when he was sitting at this computer. And there's no like, nah, it doesn't look like something I would do. No, it's all there. <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys pull that, too. They right. pull that crap. Oh no! You can't. No, you I, can't I, rip the. You can't rip the page out either. I it's know. It's there. It's there. It used to be. You know. You just. You, you cigarette lighter right into the fireplace, like a, like an old Bond yeah. movie or something. Now it's all logged. It's in that computer, and you're not smart enough to clean your trail completely. Believe me, somebody could go up there who knows a little something about it, a little something about the, uh, you know, PC or, or a little something about the uh, Mac and pull it right out. Well, and let's be fair here, and maybe I'm exposing too much myself. Please, go, but, go baby. I mean, you've got the world at your fingertips. Yeah, it's hard not sit, to look. Yeah, you're sitting huh. at the office or you're sitting at home or wherever you are. I I'm sure guys surf porn all the time. Damn time sure, going until their girlfriends are traveling with them and gets in the tent. Now they can't do it anymore. <laughs> don't yeah. no no can't not can't do it. Don't need to do it. Yes. Yeah yeah I, yeah. You know what I think I, I I think Jeff is a man of passion as you are, Drew. Yes. yes. I have learned this from from Jeff. He yeah. is he is a man of exquisite passion. He has yeah. Drew's a man of passion. Okay. As you know, what does that mean? As well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> look in the mirror. You'll find your answer. No, here's the thing. You have a a, a uh, appetite, energy. an energy a motor. For, for, for life and lust. You, you know, a lust for lust. People say lust for life. But you're, you're, here's the thing. Like, guy like me, I could probably do a sex once a week. I'm, I'm a little more casual about it. It's, it's like you approach uh, your passion like some people are with food. There's some, okay. some people that just, it's not that big a deal to them. They don't need to go out to a nice four-star restaurant every night. They don't even need to eat, you know, every right. every fifth night. It's no big. And then there are those people that just, you, they just enjoy it. They love yeah. it. It's a passion. You have that. You have a passion for passion. I do. I, Drew has a passion for passion as well. <laughs> you, is that a bad passion? passion? No, it's it's not. It's not. But it's just there. It's it's a sort of supercharged libido, is what it is. I don't know yes. about that. He's humping my leg right now, Drew, and saying he doesn't <laughs> not, know no about doubt. that. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, no one is as passionate as Doctor Drew. But here, here's how you answer the passion question. Yeah, because really. I don't even know where you're getting this. Well, from. I'll tell I'll tell you what we've worked <laughs> out. I can tell a pattern. Okay. I sit next to a man who who oozes passion so every night, it. so I'm in the presence of passion. I can feel it. Yeah, okay. My uh, my spidey sense tingles. See, if, it, if you don't want to take a nap, he, he's, I, he I feels it. I label you as a passionate man. Yeah, right. No, here, here's the thing. Drew, and I think this is a pretty good litmus test for this, Drew. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. Drew prefers coitus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're getting into this. Drew, oh, wow. here's the deal. Here's here's the deal. Drew would rather prefer perform coitus on uh, on on Rosie O'Donnell than get oral from Claudia Schiffer. No, you, no, you know no, what no, I mean. No, no, yes, wow, thank no, you, Drew. No, no, thank no, you. No, Come on, no, Drew. You sick. are that's that sick. passionate. You're that passionate, that's a man. Sick. All right. Well, somewhat. So uh, maybe I used a little hyperbole, but the point I, I is, is the man of passion does not want to lay back and have something performed on him. He wants to get into oh, something and I be gotcha. on something and be be doing something to somebody. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? And to me, we've done a little survey, and the guys who enjoy getting the oral. Those are the less passionate guys. It's it, they're, they're just, those guys also enjoy napping. Yeah, and, and ba basically what it is is like. But wait, I like all three of those. I like the giving, see, giving, and see, the napping. Adam, wow. You see? Well, the giving—that's a passionate man too, because that's just that's just a bone you toss out so you can get. No, no. See, you hear that passion, Drew? Yeah, I'm a passionate guy then. Yeah, and, and I hope it stays that way till I I hope I die in the middle of passion. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'd be an interesting story.
<laughs> now we're back to Maria. Back to Maria. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, well, Maria. Maria had a he slightly... He hopes he dies in the middle of passion. I, I, I feel your pain. I, I feel it. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait what, what? What am I? Am I the minority here? No, what a no, no, way no, to go. no, no, no. That that's my point, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, I'm with you. I'm a hundred percent. You could be, with you. you could it. be backed over by a, you know street cleaner, or no, no, or Jeff, die in the midst of passion. I, I've never felt so close to you, Jeff, as tonight. Okay, this is good. All right. Now I don't know if you two should be in the same room together, though. With the I, amount I, I'm of I'm realizing it's a good thing I'm in Pittsburgh. So anyway, yes. So Marie? Marie had a slightly yes. bogus quality about her, if you notice. No, yeah. I, I'm just saying, like, so you think that this is just, he's just a very passionate man, and you can just... Yeah, it's bogus. Yeah. Bogus, yeah. yeah. Very bogus. You guys are good. Yeah. It's no, bogus, it's not, Marie. It's you know what she, you, she well, did? She put, she put too much, you? she actually put too much detail in. No, yeah, she I did. Put any detail into it. I'm just saying, I found an email of my boyfriend answering ads that are... Yeah. All right, well, here's the deal. Well, he's what's cheating. your question? It's a horrible yeah, he's thing. cheating. Yeah. My question is, so is it possible that a guy can just sit there and answer, like, Craigslist ads just to, like, self, self-stimulation? Or no, he's, gonna, he's doing something. Mind? No, no, he's going ahead with, he's doing, he's up to something. Yeah, well, it, 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 interesting. Like, I think a guy who liked cars a lot could sit on the computer and look at cars for sale and see what these things were going for. And never buy one. I ever pulling out the checkbook. Yeah. But when it comes to sex, it's kind of a different thing. Now, if you're looking at pornography, that's something else. But if you're just going back and forth and looking at, you know, want ads, I think Again, something's this, going this on. Maria's, Maria's thinking like a woman. He, she's thinking, well, maybe he engages in some intimate dialogue with him and that's stimulating for him. No, 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 no. Not yeah. for a guy. We've been together right. for two years, though. That's what all I'm right. wondering. He's probably been doing this for all two years. That's all what right. I'm thinking. That's why I'm wondering. Is it normal? Do I just no. kind of overlook no. it? No, like, no, it's it bad. No, no, no. no. don't God, overlook it. God bless you for even bringing it up. You have it, a sister? It, the overlooking it part. Yeah. Maria, what's wrong with you? What, what's your nationality? You come from it's one of these French. cultures where you have to overlook <laughs> things? It's what's that? French. It's French. French? No. Wow. No. You, you of all people should uh, know about passion, know how this works. This guy's cheating. I know, but I just kind of like to fool myself and think that I just finally picked the right guy. No. no denial. No. no. And the, the, bad but guys. Interesting, interesting you would say it that way. Right. She finally. picks bad guys. You continue right. to pick bad guys. Oh. Well, I thought I did. So you guys right. think that this is it? No, well, I don't know. Well, don't, I mean, but it's he's up to something. That's what we'll tell you. Well, and here's the thing, too. If, if you know, three of your last boyfriends cheated on you, there's a decent chance the fourth one is because right. that's what you're attracted to. Well, you if you're him. very attracted, yeah, if you're very attracted to him, that then you're in. The, the guy's a cheater. You're not attracted to cheaters. You're attracted to guys who possess all the building blocks of cheating, and those right. guys cheat. It's not right. you don't like the idea that they cheat, no, but you exactly. like that guy. That that, that is kind a kind of guy. Of guy. Yes. yes. All right. Let's see. We got Brian over here. Ooh, here's a uh, here's a salty question. Uh-uh. William. Hey, how you doing? Twenty two. Yes, sir. What's up? Uh, all right. I'm dating this woman right now. I noticed that she has a large labia, a lot larger than most women that I've been with do. Mm-hmm. It looks like a good old piece of roast beef, basically. I don't know. If, sorry, but I was wondering, all my knucklehead buddies told me that ah, she's probably been around with a bunch of guys and whatnot. No, nothing I'm, to do with it. Nothing, nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah, some women have, have the internal labia come out, stick out mm-hmm. from the outside. I'm, you know, the, the labia good luck. M- yeah. menorah stick through the labia majora. Would basically. not slow down the passionate Jeff Probst, nope. by the way. Yeah, it's, like, just, who, it's just more beauty. You put an M80 right. in that thing, he would keep going. <laughs> just cannot slow him down. There are procedures to reduce that. A lot of people do that these days. There's a laser procedure that's kind of elegant, but it's, it's no big deal. I take yeah, exception, normal. though, to the not slow down. Because mm-hmm. part, as Drew will know, of being passionate oh, gets yes. in the way. Yeah. yeah, you you don't. It's not just. It's not just. No, a, no, no. You slow down in quotes, but right? Actually, slowing down, of course. R- rhythmic. Let me rhythmic. tell you, if you want a little fun activity, Ambien. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Ambien. Oh Jeff. Oh my God. <laughs> Ambien. Really? Well, look, if it's well, one that's of those, your girlfriend. It slows wait, wait, wait. down. D- Drew, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not hooked on Ambien. I'm all ears. Okay, well, that's the first thing you say when you're strung out. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But, like, I started... Not hooked I, I, How could a celebrity possibly get strung out on an opium? <laughs> celebrity that has to tour the world throughout the year. How, how could that happen? Impossible. <laughs> 300,000 miles on the road. But I will admit that uh, 
Ambien has some fun side effects, and it's it, called... It delays, it delays ejaculation, as does Vicodin and Percocet. And well, Oxycontin. I wasn't even thinking that. I what was just thinking, thinking it's it's kind of like a, a little bit of a... If it, you know what it is, is if you take the Ambien and then you don't let it put you to sleep yet, <laughs> mm-hmm. and you and you stay awake, you start to kind of see little monkeys. It's it's a little little euphoric. Trip. Yeah, it's a yeah. little interesting. Yeah, interesting. It's it's nice. I'm with uh, I'm with Jeff in that it's it's nice to get out of your space a little and get it on <laughs> every once in a while. You go. And that space is sometimes lies in, inside your own skull. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm hip. I'm hip to I, I that. Think Jeff, I think but, Jeff's high right now. But here's here's the thing. Here, <laughs> I think he is. I think he here, is. Here, here's the, he's a I'm total not. pro. How dare you? Here's 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 the whole thing about that though. What here's the danger. The, the ambient or the coke or the booze or, or whatever the it is. It, or the XC, it's the same danger as sort of the vibrating butterfly thing right. or whatever yeah. it is, which is you start digging it, yeah. and then this becomes the way you do business. Yeah. It's like, going to get it on, oh, we got pop and Ambien, and before you know it, that just becomes the plateau that you start yeah. from every You're time, right. and that's the problem. It, you have, here's the whole thing, it's, it's awesome, but it has to be like, uh, back to my meal reference, it has to be like the Thanksgiving turkey Special with the trimmings, occasion. not every yeah, meal. Exactly. And right. make no mistake. And it I'm, loses its meaning if you do it that way. Yeah. I I don't take Ambien anywhere yeah, yeah, close yeah. to regular. Sure, sure. No, no, sure. But, right. sure. but I'm yeah, just... Right, right, so right. I brought it up three Pointing times it out. in the first 15 minutes of the <laughs> you show. Know, you know what actually where it came from is we do these little film festivals on Survivor. While we're on location, mm-hmm. we uh, in your spare time, you make a three-minute movie. And then we have a film festival. Really? And about, yeah, just a crew and crew. all that. Some talented guys make some fun little movies. Well, about two years ago... Uh, I had never heard of Ambien, and this <laughs> film came out called uh, Ambien Olympics. Mm-hmm. And they got like 12 guys on a day off, and they put them out on this uh, piece of dirt, and they all took Ambien, and then they started doing these playing tennis and running around and jumping <laughs> over things. It was the funniest film I'd ever seen. That's when See, I See who out could what, who could function the best. While trying not to fall asleep. Right. right. Oh, That's yeah. what we do on Survivor in our downtime. Awesome. Awesome. Fascinating. Jeff Probst is uh, here tonight from uh, Survivor Guatemala. Is uh, where they're currently at Thursday nights at uh, eight o'clock. Uh, to, for my money, best show on television. I enjoy do the, the dance for this show. Ho, he, ho, he, ho, he, ho. <laughs> I do the dance every Thursday. It's the only thing my wife likes about me. It she, really we could is. Be, we could be arguing. It could be coming to blows. She'd be screaming at me. But if the ho, he, ho, she's, do the dance. She yells at <laughs> the, the dog. Look, boy, look, look at him. Look. look at him. And then I do I do the survivor dance in front of the TV, usually in a bathrobe or towel. And uh, usually some sack exposure, uh, however I do it. Yeah. Well, now I've modified it where I actually get down on the ground at a certain point. But oh, boy. I do, I do the Survivor dance to the beginning of uh, each show. And once you establish it with your old lady, it's like something you do with a retarded kid. You know, <laughs> knocks their socks off. you got to do it every let time me, you let come Let me in. just say, though, Corolla, you mm-hmm. have to be careful with mm-hmm. the Survivor dance because here's the problem. Mm-hmm. You start doing it too often, and it Might loses some its ambient? impact. Wow, yeah. touche. Yeah. Touche, my yeah. friend. Touche. See, if he was high on Ambien, he could not have formulated that. that. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a Darva set. <laughs> that's, that, <laughs> that's what was speaking. <laughs> Jeff Probst in studio tonight. Drew is in uh, Pittsburgh? Yes. And we'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody. Love line, I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew is in Pittsburgh tonight. Why? Because somebody, somebody, somewhere dropped a nickel. Yeah, well, it, in Pittsburgh, though, right? That's yeah, well, somewhere it happened. I had to go get it. That's right. That's how Drew works. <laughs> He's like Matt Lauer. Somebody, but with, without the you know the money incentive, somebody drops a nickel somewhere. Drew's super sensitive ear hears it. I mean, you could drop it on carpet, shag Wait, carpet. What's the Matt Drew Lauer reference? Matt no, Lauer. Was 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 doing this this stunt where it'd be like, where in the world is oh. Matt Lauer? And he would show up in Italy, and he would show us all some sort of Good Morning America thing right. from like a year Today's ago. Show. I never watched it. I just saw or Today Show. See, Drew knows. All right. Anyway, point is, someone dropped a nickel. Drew's in Pittsburgh. Jeff Probst is here tonight for my favorite TV show, Survivor. They're in Guatemala now. Actually, let me let me just say something. I, I'm actually a Supporting National Alcohol Awareness Week, Recovery Month. This is cool stuff I'm doing out here. So, so not, there. you're not not for the money. No. Okay. No. Okay. All right. 
What what month is it? National what? Alcohol Awareness and Recovery Month. It's also <laughs> National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Wow. Well, shouldn't shouldn't you guys be fighting it out to see who whose month it is? No, because Drew and I are both passionate <clears throat> guys in life yes. and we share. You share a passion. Yeah, we share a passion and we share cancer and alcoholism support. Wow. I'm doing I'm doing a special with Lance Armstrong about cancer survivorship beyond October 9th at Discovery Health Channel. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'll be doing a set at uh, Giggles uh, Comedy Club in uh, <laughs> Alamai. <laughs> Jeff will be doing, he'll be doing a stand-up routine about passion. Be <laughs> See, that's the whole thing. Of One day when you do do stand-up, you'll have to do an hour and a half and it'll all be survivor stuff. Huh. That's, that's yeah. what they'll want you to do. I, I, by the way, you know, people think I'm just kissing Jeff's ass. I love this show. I just do. I they're, they're, The format is so strong. And Jeff always surprises me a little when I tell him the show's going to go on forever. And he's like, well, you know, keep your fingers crossed. And I'm always like, how could it not? I mean, it's just the format is so much stronger than anything else in the reality genre and the idea that you know they're having the uh immunity challenge and the re reward challenge and the people are going at it it's just and and the settings are spectacular now yeah too that it's just how, how can you miss i i look forward to it i look forward to the dance every uh, yeah. every thursday night i look for some calls this segment we did oh, one calls? call last segment one don't take any calls though adam do not oh, take oh. calls don't do take any take calls. calls. Don't, don't take, take any calls. calls. Don't do, do it. Zero. Oh, now yeah. both of you don't. Don't. Want to don't. Take? Just don't. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. don't yeah, take this any. This is funny, isn't it, Michelle? These two tell me not to take calls. Oh, pow! How do you like me now, Nick? Yes, sir. That's right. I'm talking to you. You know why? Why? Because Jeff and Drew thought they could manipulate me. They thought uh, they could push me around like they pushed their ladies around. But I'll tell you something. I'm no bitch. <laughs> I don't got boobs. I got a hairy ass. I stand for myself. And nobody, and I don't care if you got a psychology degree, Drew. You can't fool the ace man. Mm. I know what I'm doing. You don't want me to take a call? Pow, I take a call. What do you think? That's called independence, my friend. I want you to not stop talking. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah? yeah? Hey, Nick, like what's going talking? on? <laughs> Nick? Yeah. What's hey, up? Adam. Yeah. Adam. Corolla. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get the uh, pool game Marco Polo switched over to oh, Corolla. Okay. Yeah, be nice. Start, I'll work on that. If you start talking about it on the okay. show, it'd be awesome. Okay, it'd be great. <laughs> well, I mean, if there's a water challenge, you know. Yeah. And people may play Marco yeah. Polo. You yeah. Just say if we could change it to Adam Corolla. It's yeah. been 800 years. It's time. Time for a change. Well, maybe we should just get rid of the tribe of spoken and say... Um, Adam Corolla, and they say Corolla, <laughs> and you snuff the torch. And that would be so yeah. awesome. That would be. So, I know. I know you're sort of half kidding, but really, be awesome if you could do that. My <laughs> wife would love it. Nick, yes, sir. Go ahead, buddy. Um, I've been getting into a lot of. I got into trouble at work, and I realized I might have a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I find myself with uh, multiple partners all the time. You know, I know I'm 20, so I'm supposed to be sexually active, but. I, I work in an auto shop, and I found myself in the bathroom looking up porn on my on my uh, internet phone. Yeah. So, are, do you feel you're sexually addicted or compulsed? I I I think it's compulsive. You know, it's. Were you? Well, here's the the simple questions: Were you sexually abused when you were growing up? Um, I I think that there was. I know my father always beat me up. I know my mm -hmm. father sexually abused my little brother. All right. Are you are you are you an alcoholic or addict? Um, no, I, I don't do drugs. Uh, I drink occasionally, but I, I had to quit drinking because I was becoming alcoholic. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, <laughs> all right. My family. Let me just say, right. Drew, that's, I know, that's I, sexual addiction. I, I know I've been wrong about this the last 30 times I've tried it, but I, I really got a feeling about this one. Calling from Arizona, works at all, auto body place, dad's an alcoholic, sexual abuse, physical abuse, addicted to porn, Jew. You're Jewish, aren't you, Nick? <laughs> No, sir, I'm not. Oh, I'm my American. God. It I, did line up. It just all it came did. together. Yeah. It's just anyone who knows Jewish families know that this auto body and, oh, Drew, I just can't believe I haven't been right in the 50 times it's I've tried. Crazy, Matt huh? Locke, for the record, I think Matt Locke would have come to the same conclusion. Absolutely. Yeah. And Matt Lauer for another Matt Lauer <laughs> reference. Nick, what is your nationality? Uh, I am I am Lakota Sioux. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah. boy, that's alcohol, so, baby. Th it's, yeah, yeah, that's where uh, that gene comes from. Native. Yeah. So, yes, that's something that needs to be treated, buddy. Okay. But at I least, mean, but here's the thing, Nick. Let me, here's the good side. 
Uh, and Drew, there is genetic differences between people as much as we like to pretend there isn't that lead you to be more attracted to certain things such as alcohol, right? I mean, right. American, American Indian, that that's a different gene than the Jewish American gene as far as right. booze goes, for instance. Right. That's right. right. Ironically, the Sioux, not, uh, not something that, with the booze, although the Jews do the suing, it's something I'll connect one day and I'll show you All how right. that works. I got a chart. The Did you point, give me Adam's Bambian during the break or something? <laughs> oh, you got? Are you carrying? Are you carrying? Uh, I, just, I, got, I, know I got a half. Okay. All right. But here's the deal. Here's, I'm here's shake the way him I, by his ankles till it falls out of it. Here's the way I would look yeah. at Nick's thing is that Nick was an alcoholic who tried mm -hmm. not to drink and spun out of control behaviorally. So right. really, he needs to go back and have his alcoholism properly treated, get involved with AA, do a 12-step program, and you will see some of the sexual stuff. If you're honest with your sponsor about what you're doing, this stuff will settle down as well. All right, okay. Nick. Take care. You're 20. You're fine. You're asking right. the right questions. You're yeah, you're ahead of the game. In the butt. Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, and, the, and the alcohol, because Drew confuses people sometimes by just saying a alcoholic, but that is almost just like an energy that's in you, and if it and if you cut the booze off it, it'll go another direction. Exactly. It's, have, a dry, to, mm. it's a dry. It's something you need to extinguish, not redirect. Right. Because right. Because you'll you'll mm. be addicted to gambling, or right. you'll be doing base jumping and throwing a parachute out over your. Yeah, that's you'll be exactly right. On Ambien and uh, ten, uh, tends to be <laughs> work with. I mean, <laughs> it, it'll down. spin yeah. out in a million different directions. <laughs> it it tends to be. <laughs> <laughs> it tends to be thrill activities. Thrill. Behavior. Thrill activities. That's right. That's right. All right, let's uh, let's see. Who do I want to talk to? Ooh, Sarah. Sarah Cutter, daughter, 12-year-old daughter looking at porn on the Internet. Sarah? Yeah, hello. You're 30? Yes. What's up? Um, my 12-year-old daughter, I had suspected her of going online and looking at porn because I had a whole bunch of pop-ups that were coming up that were just mm -hmm. obviously porn. So at mm -hmm. first I accused my husband of it, and he was like, no, no, no. So smart, then smart. Yeah. I talked to her, and she denied it. And then a couple of days later, she wrote me a note admitting to it and saying that she has a problem, and she's, right. she just can't stop looking at it, and she wants wow. help. And, right. Whoa. So now I don't know what to and, do with her. And she pulled up the driveway in a, in a new pony, too, but Sarah's <laughs> not, not suspicious it's still the husband. Because that's what I'd be. Sweetie, sign this. Sign this goddamn note. Huh? No, I wrote, no, Daddy no, wrote no. it in crayon. Now sign. So you want the pony? You want the sign? <laughs> we must never speak of this. <laughs> Seriously, did you? I, I would be very. I would be keeping an eye on your daughter if she got the new Barbie, you know, dream van or something she'd been looking for, not near Christmas or a birthday or something. How impressive, though, of a, if. I mean, of a twelve-year-old to do this. Yes, I agree. That. Yeah, I agree. yeah. The the note. I, I'm st I still <laughs> still would do some hand you still blame hand the handwriting dad. samples. You, you, yeah, yeah, there's a guy behind this, but yeah. wow. No, and, my husband. Well, I mean, my husband doesn't lie. He knows I don't care if he if he did. So oh, really? Why would he lie? So she's cool. Interesting. Adam. Yeah, interesting. What? Well, well, you not. Hold on, though. One just sec. What one second. What I care second. about is the spyware on my computer. That's what I care about. So. No, I understand that, but the part where you say you don't care about your husband just sounds like you've given up on him. No, no, no. I mean, you're just no, cool. Not that, not that I don't care about him, but if he wants to look at porn, I mean, who cares? I know he's he's right. an honest person, and we're very committed to each other. So right. why should so, I bother? That's yeah, one it's one more for night. You, one more night. You don't have to fake an orgasm. <laughs> Oh. You know, yeah. right. man, you really are you know lacking right. a passion gene. Yeah, he, he really is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, well, come live with him for a little while. That's the only thing I'm passionate about. He is sucks not being passion passionate. out of me. I'll, I, I, I wrung him dry like a bar rag. Drew came in here right. dripping with passion. I sucked him all up like a shop vac. All right, we'll but Sarah, it filled with Drew's passion. All right. <laughs> I belch his passion. I taste bash Drew's passion when I belch. Yes, Drew. Whatever. There's some of your passion. Yeah. All right, Sarah. Sarah. Uh, for Sarah, this is a serious deal. And one of the things I'm concerned with, and I, I hope this isn't your daughter, is that there's evidence that being exposed to explicit images at too young an age can sort of get some momentum going with some kids. I, I'm well, she's right. 12. That's my concern. Exactly. Yeah, and, and that can happen. I, and it, boy, it's hard to know how to approach this. I think the best way is if she really she wants help, she wants a therapist, get her somebody. Right, well, I've the, already so made if, an appointment, so, yeah, I mean, so I don't, okay. don't know, do I it's very, her, do I? Um, mm. What grade no, is I would, she in? She's what, in sixth grade. The sixth wow. grade. Here, here's the Man. thing, here's the thing, Sarah. I, I know you worry, and it's, in the, and it's good that you do, but 
between your daughter writing the note allegedly and you calling and wanting advice and the therapist and stuff, she'll be fine. She, she, she really will. will. She really there, will be. Yeah, I think and, you're probably but here's right. But here's the deal. If you, if you freak her out too much, you're going to give her an eating disorder. <laughs> but No, but but she, you do need to create consequences just because yeah. kids need behavioral consequences and limits, and you just got to put some limits down uh, and go, you know. I, but, then, but don't get angry about it. Just say, right. you know, this this to help you contain your behaviors. Here's what we're going to do because of it. Decide what that is. It's, it's How, fairly random. But true, Drew, Drew, let's just be honest. When you were in the sixth grade and somebody said there's this magical porthole to the world, <laughs> uh, you you know, look, you can do your homework on it if you like and, you know, look up capitals and eastern Bloc cities, but you can also just see nothing but porn if you like, too. How long before you yeah. drifted over there? I don't care yeah. if you're in the third grade. I mean, you sit at that computer and someone says, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you know that uh, blonde lady from that uh, Fox series uh, stacked? Yeah, well, there's, pictures, there's stuff yeah. with her on a And house there's always boat. a kid who knows that stuff. There's always one kid. Right, right. Yeah. It's a Corolla and, kid. And, yeah, and where right. the hell are you going oh, yeah, when he, that they, kid got, oh, pots it you up? You should have seen how upset the parents were that Corolla was around. Oh, my God. He, he, how many kids did he take down? I, I will tell you this. I got way more than one parent-teacher conference where it wasn't between my parents and the teacher. It was between the kid who sat around me, the parents, and the teacher. And my name got dropped many times and was actually you know banished from many a household, which is the kid would be doing okay. If except not. For, yeah, it's like... You would be fine in your home, but you're, you've built on a polluted cesspool, and the, the Corolla is the cancer that is creeping in your <laughs> your water, your groundwater. Were you the guy that would tell the other kids they're they're? Uh, I won't even say. You know, yes. to, yeah, yeah I gotcha. Yeah, no, I was I was the guy at school who was looking to do anything but whatever I was supposed to do. And and had no, I could barely read. I couldn't write. I was, you know, sort of in this constant state of agitation and just sitting around with no air conditioning for 55 minutes, listening to some blowhard in a sweater vest talk about nothing. I just knew I, I couldn't I couldn't tolerate it. It was like it's how you would torture me. Well, think think how that blowhard in the sweater vest who dedicates his life to teaching the youth of America now sees that lippy Corolla with 14 TV shows, That's right. radio show Kiss giving advice. Ass. Kiss my ass, you old blowhards. Take your crappy uh, maverick back to your Van Nuys apartment and cry yourself to sleep into your hungry man dinner. I'm rich, I tell you, rich. Literally a millionaire. Ha! Yeah, I, I laugh scoff at all you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff Probst in studio tonight. Right. We'll take wait, a wait, uh, wait, wait. Yeah. I got to finish with Sarah before you break. What? Just, She's here's fine. the deal. Well, here's the one thing: you, you can't really do a twelve step process with somebody that young. She needs supervision. Yeah. And she needs help and and support. And th this is something that's going to evolve over time. It's not something that she, you're going to be able to, to take stumbled, care of. But she week. looked up a but little she's porn. Gonna, I know, she's going to be fine. She, but she called, wrote a letter saying she's compulsed and can't stop. And it, she'll be fine. Mm, I agree. I, 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 I swear to you, she probably did that to get a little of the heat off her. Like when a guy gets busted for cheating, he says he's addicted to sex. And all of a sudden, he's got a disease. He doesn't have to deal with the cheating label anymore. I think this kid's maniacal. And I still think the dad did it. Okay. All right, we'll take okay. a uh, take a. Uh, by the way, if I uh. if I have kids and this kind of stuff happens, I'm uh, they're taking the bullet for almost everything. You're <laughs> never going to have kids. You don't have any time to be I, passionate. I, I, I must I must store my passion and throw it at my wife's vagina. That's how I will have children. All right, I swear to God, if I if I if I ruin the car, <laughs> and I have a three year old, I will throw the three year old in the car and call the old lady out. Look, look what this young demon did. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a demon seed. It's just a bassinet sitting on the roof. <laughs> Look at him. Oi, hey, oi, another Corolla. Oh, my God. I don't know how he learned to drive a stick. That's not the question. The question is, how do we discipline him? All right. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew in Pittsburgh. Why? Because someone dropped a nickel. Jeff Probst right. in, in studio tonight talking about uh, Survivor Guatemala. Hola. 11th uh, fabulous uh, season. Love that show. 8 o'clock Thursday nights. CBS. And let me ask you this because I, I was, I was, you know, I, I think Jeff, Jeff's a pretty, comes in here and he's honest and we appreciate his candor and there's certain things he can't tell us and then certain things he, he will. Gary Hogaboom, 
who's the ex-quarterback, is on the show. And uh, for the sports fans, you recognize the name, right? Because he's a pretty well-traveled pro. But I definitely wouldn't recognize the face. Right. I've just recognized the Gary Hogaboom. And even that's a little bit of a stretch for most even yeah. sports fans. Uh, he gets on the show. He's going to keep his identity as an ex-professional football player on the QT. And a young chick fingers him. Right. And I don't mean fingers in the passionate way that well, you she's guys a, know. She's a sports talk show host. She's a sports talk show host. But even so, she's young. And I know she was in the city Hogaboom played for or whatever. But it just seems crazy that she would actually recognize So you're him. saying, do we help her? I'm saying... <laughs> is there any help, or do you, when you're casting, do you go, this guy's got a secret, we don't want him to keep this secret no. for the whole show, this is someone who knows something. Well, that's not cheating. I mean, that's uh, just making, that's just no, provocative it, casting. It, I don't know, I think it would be, it, you're getting on a slippery slope when you start doing that. Well, but we, if you said, if you said, one guy is pretending to be a paleontologist. Who am I saying this to? Well, if you're if you're the, if you're casting the okay. show, and we got a guy, and he's claiming to be something, okay, whatever it so is, so we or know if, not he, to if be we something. put Hogaboom on the show, he's saying, "Listen, I will not say I'm a quarterback I, because I know I'll get voted off." We know that. Well, okay, let's say you do, yes, because that's what that. happened. Right, Hogaboom right. in casting said, "I'll never say I'm a quarterback." Right. So you're trying to put together an interesting, provocative right. show, and I, I don't look at this as cooking it or cheating, but you say. Well, it'd be nice if one of these uh, other people could sure. suss him out sure. because we don't want to go the whole season with this guy. And there's a good chance that no Those, one's going to recognize Gary Hogaboom right. from his you know playing days 14 years ago. So you say, all right, well, look, we liked you anyway, but the fact that you used to do sports, absolutely. that helps. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, definitely. Okay. If you've got, a, if you've got a, a gay guy and you have another guy who... Is telling you, you know what? I grew up in this part of the world. I don't like gay guys. I'm not. Right. I'm not comfortable with them. And if they tell me they're gay, I'll tell them they need to stay. Oh yeah, you're in. Of course. You're, well, right. you're a you're a, a much more appealing candidate. Right. But right. we would never. Just to be clear, we would never say to Danny, recognize the taller guy. I don't know. I just thought you might in your line of work or something like right, that. Right. Right. You don't do that. That stuff. would be that would be a I'm, tell. I'm amazed. That it's taken this long for somebody to come in and lie full on about their occupation. I, every season I ask people, they say, you know, I'm a paleontologist. And I, I think, are you going to tell them that? Well, yeah. So yeah. I, I'm surprised they don't lie it, more often. It is, it is interesting. Or, or, or you should just lie because you have a crappy job. Like you're a waiter or a dental hygienist. I, I would just say, you know, pirate astronaut. Well, no, it's, it's, that works idea. against but, you, though. But, but, oh, it's, but see, interesting that the, the game should begin during the application process, you're saying. Yeah, I mean your strategy. Yeah, you should start laying it out. I mean, uh, I mean, or you can do your application. Let the producers know you have what to. you actually yeah. actually do. But when you come in, don't tell people you're fire chief battalion yeah. because they think, okay, this guy's this guy's strong. This guy's going to take over the game. Just tell them, you know, your day laborer or something. Exactly. So you can get away with something. And that's what Hogaboom's doing, saying I have a landscaping business. Yeah, and here's the thing about landscaping is. Landscaping could mean that you actually know something about trees and shrubs and flora and fauna, or you're just digging ditches all day. No one's ever going to call you out on it. It's not like saying you're an attorney or your computer tech and someone's going to ask you something technical. Right. Smart. Yeah. All right, Drew. Well, we've we'll taken three, to, call, uh, three, three calls this show, so I don't want you taking any more. And remember the Odd yeah. Pod Nano song, System of a Down, Question in a Bumper. All I'm right. just going to say, because I'm not on very often, I'd love it if we didn't take any more. Oh, you yeah, would? No, yeah. three I'm just asking show. as a favor. Let me, tell, let me tell you something about this. This is not your tribal council. You understand? I got no torch. You got no ladle to put on it. I'm I'll the tell you chief what. here. I'm I'll tell the you what. I dare you. No, th- oh, oh, you dare me? Because yeah. you don't think I will? Oh, no, I pressed man. the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Pow! Pow! How do you like me now, probes? <laughs> you want me to take another call? Keep Adam talking. Keep Carola. talking. <laughs> Karen? Adam. Carl, all right. What's up? 20? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boring bit. Go Ask ahead. When is I deep throat? And I, I wanted to know, could that cause any possible harm to the esophagus? Well, you don't you don't go all the way to the esophagus. So. Yeah. Uh, but I barely yes, get I mean, past you, the soft pound. But it sounds like it does, though. Yeah, of, of course you can you can aspirate and gag and, and traumatize well, the but, area and cause STDs. Well, what about where, where, Drew? How far do you have to go to get to the esophagus? 
You have to get past the upper glottis. I mean, it's way down there. Whoa. Well, now we're talking oh, okay, deep. Okay. So we'll just say the upper okay. glottis. Yeah. I mean, what, 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 what would it take, Drew? Could you make it to the esophagus? <laughs> if, I've if seen you at the Karen? airport and at the urinal. Well, I'm just yeah, mean. You, you seem yeah. like a guy who could. Yeah, I could reach it. Yeah, you just, uh, it's just, you, you know, you got a few more knots on your twine than I do. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great new. Uh, I'm, I'm esophagus capable, Worthy. right? Yeah, you know, I'm. Yeah, I get there. I could make it. It's like you want to know the range of a car. Yeah, you make the Frisco in one tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't okay. make a Santa esophage Barbara. You say esophageal yeah. range. Esophageal yeah. range. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> wow. That's good. That's uh, better than warning track power. <laughs> All right. So, so Karen, here's the thing. You will do damage if you. Your body will let you know when you're doing damage, right? I mean, but it'll hurt, it'll be weird. Right, you, you can traumatize the air, but the, the thing that concerns me is you're going to aspirate. The fluid can get into the lungs, and that's a serious thing. Yeah, and then oh, someone's okay. going to have to tell your parents how you went. Oh. I think she just wanted us to know. And STD. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. All right. What the hell was what, that? What was All right, we that? got, I don't know if that's bogus or not. We got to take a break. Jeff Probst is here from Survivor. Greatest show on television. Uh, Thursday nights, 8 o'clock, CBS. We'll take a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew is in Pittsburgh tonight. Why? Somebody dropped a nickel. And I've got to repeat, I've got to mention the iPod uh, contest tonight a couple more times. Please. Because you were, you were so busy taking all those calls last time, it was hard for me to get this one in. But uh, yeah. all you have to do is listen for the System of a Down song question as a bumper at a commercial. Be the first person to get through and say iPod Nano to the screener and you will win. You must be 18 years or older. And you will also win a gift certificate from iTunes for 10 free downloads. Jeff Probst is uh, here tonight. If I was gay, that's the direction I go. Yeah, but we wouldn't do anything because you got no passion. You know what? I you know what? Oh, I but think, think I what rally. you can do to him. I think oh, I would think rally what Jeff for could you. do to you, Adam. Yeah, think what whatever. Jeff could do to you. Give me an ambulance and a, 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 <laughs> ambulance ambulance. Yeah, I would need one after I said. Give me an ambient and just go to town. I sleep on my stomach. Nice. <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. great. Just, you just mop me off with the Survivor buff and uh, just watch a little wow. sports center. Yeah. Wow. I love that Survivor buff. <laughs> it's so versatile. All the things you can do, if they wash right up. I'm amazed that there's, there's, there's two things that Jeff, I bring it up every time he comes in here, but they, they love that buff. And uh, it's the only part of the show I'm not interested in is getting the Survivor buff. And I don't know how much they cost or how many. 20 bucks. Are the they The most 20? popular Ooh. item at CBS.com is the, Survi the Survivor buff. Really? Yeah. But More than a CSI hat. Or really? Like, yeah. I, I, I guess I could see that. But shouldn't the money be going to some charity? 20 <laughs> yeah. bucks for the Survivor buff? Like, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't 15 of the 20 Wouldn't that be, be going? great? You guys, well, it would be nice because it, it's it's four cents worth, worth of material that was made in China. Yeah. You know. And again, I don't think so. All right. Well, how about that? Okay, forget about giving that money yeah. to charity, but how about the one? It's the not like thing, I'm getting any of it. The other thing I, I beg Jeff to do every time he comes on here is enough of these stupid tribe names that I can't remember with the indigenous stuff. You go with some good American stuff, like tr your tribe, Turbo Max, <laughs> and you guys are uh, uh, nitro. That's nitro American Ultra. Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I want. Yeah. I want something that sounds like a 13-year-old boy named it, not not a sensitive dyke. What's funny is we <laughs> just were coming up with the names for mm. next season. Turbo. Just get Turbo. You guys are nitro. Tribe. No, Stealth. <laughs> stealth, stealth is good. Stealth is good. Your Whoops, team didn't see you. Stealth. Wow. You're yeah, stealth. Of course you didn't. Yeah. You didn't hear me coming either. Yeah, because I'm, I'm team. Yeah, well, Team Turbo's going to outrun you guys. You know what I mean? Instead, it's always like, oh, plana, glana, pona, puna. And well, I don't we, care what it means. We just had this conversation via email, and one guy's going, are these pronounceable? Yeah, they're, and, not, they're not pronounceable. Yeah. And, and, no one, and no one wants to try. And here's the thing. We're Americans. We should be spreading our crappy culture on them, not, not absorbing their culture. You understand? I don't want to know about what it means. Oh, it's a proud warrior or whatever. Do they have anything that means a-hole? 
Are there any words for that in these other cultures? You know what is amazing is how many cultures have the same thing. They have spirit rocks. They did executions as recently as 50 years ago, and they eat chickens on Sundays. Really? Wow. A they, lot of Well, they, they're not executions. They did, like, uh, human uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Sacrifices, yeah. All, right. All just, religions started in human sacrifice. It's bizarre. Please, please just put a vote in for the ace man the yeah, turbo nitro meter. and one corolla tribe the corolla tribe would be nice and then stealth would also okay. be acceptable <laughs> I'll, I'll work on that i just want to cheer for team stealth i can't remember that the pala gala pula pala you know mm. what i'm saying but think about this hmm. stealth wins mm -hmm. immunity it right. just doesn't you need like you need two syllables no, no, I like stealth. I like okay, it. I'll go for well, it. Okay, well, then you just Nitro, go then. Nitro, Nitro stealth. Yeah, Nitro. Nitro stealth. Nitro stealth. Super right. stealth. Max stealth with two X's, you know, so you know we mean business. Right. Max. Stealth max, you know. <laughs> just have a, okay. Let's start no, thinking creatively for a change. Stop That's taking calls. Saying. Stop uh, what? it. Do not what? take any more what? calls. What? We've had what far too many calls. What Five in an hour is what way is too many. Do not take any more calls. What is that? Stop it. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah, I'm taking a call, Roxy. Oh, okay. What's happening? You're 23. Oh, hi. I'm calling because I have a very legitimate question. I'm 23 right. and I duck test for my job, right? And this you blood man, test, yeah. Excuse me? What, what kind of job do you have? I, I work for um, headquarters for a funeral company for the Western <laughs> Division. All right. And you have to take a blood test? No, just a year. Make sure test. you're high enough? Oh, all right. So you, you say drug test for your job? Yeah, well, just like um, your analysis. <clears throat> okay. Go okay. ahead. And Didn't you say blood? Is, uh, no. Well, yeah, We're moving forward. Right. Okay. All right. Go okay. ahead. Okay. My question is, I like to really, like, give my boyfriend head, right? The thing is, if I call oh. him, he has a dirty system, like, he smokes pot. Will mm -hmm. I get dirty because of him? What about that? that it's actually a, actually a legitimate and reasonable question. The only and a drug nice that, theme that's forming for tonight. Yes, yes, your favorite too. And mm -hmm. the only thing that I'm I have found uh, evidence that it concentrates sufficiently in semen to potentially be detected with either intercourse or uh, oral sex is uh, amphetamines. Amphetamine oh, really? has about seven times the concentration in semen as in the blood. And really? uh, occasionally opiates too. People will get a good dose of an opiate occasionally, but the amphetamine's Ooh. the big one. Uh, okay. So it it is okay. real. A little secondhand Ambien from Probes yeah. over here. Yeah, it's yeah, not I was thinking about that. Been processed. Okay, now let's say that he lies to me and says he doesn't do any kind of meth or anything. Now, how long will it take for him to like if it if he does do it? And if I yeah. will follow and he's yeah. dirty, how long will it take for it to get out of my? Remember, system? it's not it's not just swallowing; it's having sex. Uh, well, also, and I think and I have a feeling. Oh, I have a, and I have it's a feeling. It's not going to happen. It's not. I, it's not going to happen. I think you're. you're it's a retarded eh, scenario. You're definitely good. At 24 hours later. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'll get rid of it within time. Oh no, yeah. no, for you, yeah, 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 for sure. Oh, okay, yeah. That's all that really matters because you know it's kind of like it's lost a lot of touch knowing that I can do stuff like that because I really like it. Yeah. All right. You sound you sound a uh, horny and fat. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> you big gal. Not really. Well, now they're... We've been they're, together for a really long time. Radio. Oh, just put 20 pounds on. What? Uh, how tall are you? Um, 5'7". Five, 5'7". Five, seven. How much you weigh? Oh, my gosh. This is saying like way personal. How much How much you weigh? 160. 160. Let me do the radio math. It's been a little while. 5'7", 160. And the, plus the 2. Carry the 3. Drew, what is 2 times 5? 10. 10, and then 1 from 10? 9. But you say... And the square root of that, not 3. All right, but 1 and 1 is, is still 1, right? 1 plus 1, 1 times 1, yes. 1 times 1 is still 1, but 1 plus 1, and that's not that's 1, two. right? Yeah. That's take, 2. Check, okay. check, check log base 10, and then do a natural log on E, All and right. then oh, add it by okay. 3. Okay, I got it. 5, 7, 1, 60. Sheik's coming in at 5, 5, and 13, 16 181. Yeah. That's uh, the radio adjustment. Because uh, when you say, uh, you know, when you say, like, how much you weigh, and they go, that's a personal question, I tack 25 pounds. Right on. away. Right, yeah. right away. Right away. All right. So something's wrong with Roxy, but that's fine. She's in a committed relationship, and this is a bizarre hypothetical scenario, one, one which will never come to fruition. Yes? Unless she does drugs. All right. Robert? Yes, how you doing? It will be the excuse I use if I ever get busted in a drug course. So. Well, so you tell it was Jeff's. 
my, my lover, uh, how? Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> God, please. Wait, wait, well, you I'm know he's fan. got the ambient. He's got the ambient going. Okay. I mean, who knows? All right, all right. And he knows I'm a that that kind of fan. I'm that big a fan, <laughs> <laughs> Robert. I'm not gay, but I love Survivor. I'm yeah. only doing this because I really, really like this show. Please call it Turbo Stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, 24? Yes, hello? What's up? Hey, I had a question. I've, I've been going out with this girl for about two months. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like her, but when, if I, you know, any type of foreplay or anything, I can't go down on her because she, she stinks. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I don't want to tell her because I don't want to hurt her feelings. I care so for her, but on the other does hand, she, does I don't want to get a down on her. Regular, hang yes. on, relax here, buddy. Does she, has she had a pelvic exam? Does she see a doctor regularly? Uh, you know, and I haven't really asked her. All right, here's the way to approach this, is to say that, look, we if we're going to be sexually active. This in a while. Yeah, this is a good one. If you're going to be, are you going to either say, A, I heard a call on Loveline where they said this can be the sign of infection and I'm worried about you want you to see a doctor. Or mm -hmm. if we're going to be sexually active, it's important that you get a pap smear. Let's take you and see what's going on. And yeah. the doctor will detect this stuff. It's, it's usually a, a vaginal infection that causes well, that bad smell. We used to give this advice to people all the time, and it's been a long time. But it's a really nice out, which is uh, the old lady's got some funkitude going. You don't want to broach the subject because it's weird. So you say, you know, I was listening to Loveline, and Drew was talking to this chick who called up and said she had a little funk going on, and he said it could be something serious. It could be, you know, nothing to do with hygiene, but it could be an infection, and he urged her to see the doctor. It's good. I noticed when, when we got together, I got a little whiff of something. I'm worried, sweetie. I'm looking out for your welfare. Could you march the vagina in and throw it up on the rack to see if we got anything? That way, you're a concerned guy instead of a pain in the yeah. ass who's like insulted that. her. She's not getting defensive about it. It's really nice when you can figure out a way to do that. I'm concerned about mm -hmm. you. I'm worried. You know, end up scoring points. Scoring yeah, points fine. in a, in, a, and in a, yes. Then taking care of something you need to take yeah. care of. You know what I mean? In a, in a situation that seems sort of lose lose, and the best you could do is just a little damage as opposed to an all out you know cluster f. You might actually come out in the plus column here. Yeah. Nice. nice. You guys Thank provide you. a service. We really, we really, yeah. we really do. We really, really do. Brian. Yeah. You've been on hold for eighty minutes. I have no idea what your call is, but I've decided uh, mercifully to take your call. How old is he? He's twenty-three. 23. What's up, brother? Uh, I had a question, real quick. Uh, is there any way to shorten the length of time for males or orgasms? Shorten it. Yes, sir. How long are you at now? Uh, minimum is 45 minutes. There's been, most of the time I'll just give up. Oof. Oh, really? Well, and you've, have you been with the same woman? Uh, no, sir. This is different partners. Are yeah, you on that's, medication? That's the key. I'm sorry? Medication? No, sir. Nothing? Uh, the only thing that I can really attribute to it is uh, I, I got a penis piercing Shortly after I lost my virginity, but I've I've actually taken that out at times, and it's not helped. I have heard of cases where hmm. the nerve damage caused by piercing does all kinds of strange things that way. Now, I'm most, did you? Does most it guys take long the, when you hold on, Drew. Hold on a second. Let me just make this comment. Most guys who get the dork pierced don't do the uh, yes sir, no yeah. sir. That's affirmative. <laughs> got my got my Johnson pierced. Yes sir, yes sir. What? Oh, about uh, 1,300 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't sound like a penis piercing type. Yeah. It's refreshing, Brian. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it, it's like the, the, the two worlds of the yes sir, no sir, and the, and the penis tat guy, they usually don't, don't commingle. Well, what about, is it the same thing if you're, if you're uh, masturbating? That's my question. Not necessarily. Even that tends to take me a while, though. Has it always been that way? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's a little disconcerting. It's, it's, it's disarming. Yeah. I'm thinking about uh, Prince Albert, and he says, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> All right, here's, here's the thing. Uh, what, I, what I feel like is, A, this is you. I mean, this is your metronome. This is your cadence, and it's not going to change that much. But one thing that's going to help is if you can find a woman, stick with her for a while, and sort of work things out. If you just keep 
bouncing around yep. from conquest to conquest, you're never really going to work this one out. Well, and, and Drew, is this something that starts to build where you, uh, in uh, in your brain, in your head, you start thinking, well, God's going to take me to, it's going to take me to. You start days, making a case. Yeah, yeah. You get, and anxiety make, we're always works against the man. Yeah. It gets up, you get up in your head, pardon the pun. Brian. Yeah. You, you'll be fine. How about you just get a girlfriend and kind of work it out, find out what works? Mm, well, to be honest with you, I've tried that. Um, I've had several relationships. I've only had a few number of partners, but this mm -hmm. has been kind of a prolonged thing since I was 19. So. Hmm. What's the Isn't reaction it? from the, from the, sorry, Drew, what, what's the reaction from the women you're with? Do they, is it uh, bum them out? No, actually, most of the time, the only complaint they have is uh, the piercing can cause bleeding. Yeah, that's not uh, as bad. I, th I thought you took the piercing out. <laughs> I, well, sir, I've tried that. I'll tell you what really bums him out when he keeps calling him sir. <laughs> Did you orgasm? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please just call me Amy? Yes, sir. But I, I'm a little, a little confused, Brian. Did you Why, say you it, the the cause is bleeding? The piercing causes bleeding. What the hell? Brian, what's going on? What? The piercing, the piercing plus the amount of time can occasionally cause the girls that I'm with to bleed. Makes right. sense. Makes sense. All right. Yeah. Because you get. But what I'm, I'm still unclear. Did you did you used to be able to when you were a younger adolescent be able to masturbate more quickly before the piercing went in? No, not really. Okay. All right. Well, hell. Okay. All right. Look, here's the thing. We talk about this all the time. There are a lot of guys who have a very short fuse, and the uh, the penis firecracker goes off almost immediately. There are other guys that have a longer fuse, and these are both genetically based. Right. Now, there are For things... The there are drugs you can take and, and anxiety disorders and whatever, but for the most part, that's just you. And, it, and, yes. it, and, it, and it's going to be same hard... Same with women. To, same with women, it's, if at all, Drew, if at all. Yeah. Yes, if 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 the well, fuse depends, gets yes. lit at all, because I can't find a fuse, I cannot find that. I found a tampon string oh, once. I thought oh, but it was Jeff a fuse. can. Jeff can find it. I tried oh, to yeah. light it. It was a disaster. I'm trying to figure out what you could say to Brian because that's it's, it's, he seems like a nice guy and he's yes, you know sir. it's yes sir but <laughs> but he he needs I I I'm going back to relationship. Just relax and get in. Yeah. Here's here's the other something. here's the other thing too. I think most guys will will work this way, which is. They will find the position they're right. used to having the orgasm in. For instance, if they mm. masturbate and they do it lying on their back and that's how they have their orgasm, then that's the position they should get in when they're with the woman. Because if you're used to lying on your back and having an orgasm, then you get on top of someone and you already have a problem, Right? it's going to take you a while. So I would find that sort of... Uh, comfort zone position and see if you couldn't incorporate what you do on your own with your ladies but get a girlfriend and work it yeah, out right there all you right go. let's play a little germany or florida what do you say sure let's hear uh anderson let me hear uh david allen greer doing our uh, germany or florida we also theme should song. play for jeff uh david allen greer and his uh you know naming of his children yeah i like that one too let's hear them both Theme song. Is it Germany or Florida? Hey! Energy. Germany or Florida? Let's find out. Big hand, Nice. Such a talent. 100 miles of grams of S. Well, here we go. Oh, 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 now, now that this Set is this, up. this, is, this up. is better. This is uh, Drew was uh, reading uh, the contents. I was trying to figure out the contents of a birth control pill to figure out if it could be used for a morning after pill. I suggested that that sound like uh, names of young black children, and uh, David Allen Greer uh, picked it up and ran with it. So enjoy. Hundred micrograms of est ethanol estradiol, All which right. is ethanol uh, estradiol. It's the, it's no, the, it's the, pro, it's the progesterone. <laughs> It's the levonorgestrel. And where is levonorgestrel? Or, <laughs> or the North End drone. No, I think put that put that wiffle ball back down. Go, come in the house. So behind. I'm sick of these kids, man. <laughs> so for my birthday, oh. Drew. Yeah, we're uh, going to do it.
you're coming over with the uh, physicians at desk thesaurus. David Allen yeah. Greer's coming over, and we're going to do a mar- marathon session. Where David Allen read, Greer stands read on my medications. right, Drew yeah. stands on my left, and every medication that comes out of Drew's mouth is going to get converted into a black child's name. I like it. That's, <laughs> that's a awesome. Funny, that's a funny idea. Yeah, I'd watch it. I, I could probably watch uh, maybe ha- uh, an hour a night. If you put it on TV. <laughs> yeah, because every new thing is a new chance for some funny. That's right. Works and works and works. Oh, listen, Survivor's got a couple new tribe yeah. names. Dave. <laughs> Back okay, at North, it. North Indrome. <laughs> North Indrome. Yeah, and it's always great when it's worked into get your ass in the house or you kids get in the Chevelle. And you know, <laughs> a, you know something's good when the minute you hear it, you could go to your own, you could do it yourself. Like I could do that this week and take the little thing out and it's. Yeah, you you could convert any disease, any yeah. ingredient, anything on the spice rack. If David yeah. Allen if David Allen Greer just sounds like a black mother, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, so Drew, like I said, yeah. maybe we'll do it for Christmas this year. I'm doing it. Justin? Yeah. All right, so uh, you want to play a little Germany or Florida? Yeah. All right. Hey, I just want to ask one thing. Um, when's the Encycler, Encycler Roller coming out? Oh, that's uh, the Recycler Roller? Yeah. Yeah, that's my recycling shoot for houses, Jeff. I, uh, Drew, what are you doing over there? I, uh, I put one in my house, a shoot for cans and bottles. Oh, yeah. And when Jimmy, Jimmy was so impressed by it that when Jimmy got his kitchen remodeled, we put a recycling shoot in his house. And then when I built this house for TLC, I put the shoot. It's just a piece of pipe that's like four inch plastic PVC pipe, but a beer bottle or a wine bottle or a soda can is like, two and a half, three inches. Nice. You put this pipe, you just put it in the wall, you put it in a cupboard, you put it wherever, and then pow, every bottle, every can, everything fired right out. You put the recycling bin right outside by it. It's called the Recyclerola, and it, it, puts, it, makes, <laughs> it makes recycling fun again. And you don't have that thing where you want to recycle, but you got a bunch of pop cans yeah, and beer bottles idea. there. You know, you go through, plus... No one needs to be reminded how big a problem they have with booze or diet soda or whatever it is. You don't realize Certainly three days. I don't. Three days goes by and there's like a mountain of, you know, of <laughs> wine of bottles. Sp- spent wine bottles and beer bottles. It's like, wow, I don't want to look at this. Yeah, you just, you, just, and, you know what else would go down there? Mm. Ambient uh, containers. Used up Ambien containers. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I'm slow. I, I gave it to Drew. <laughs> and, and, unless they have the refill sticker on them, in which yeah, case you, you hang hold on, on with to both them. hands. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Justin. Go ahead. What's your Germany or Florida? All right. They now have discovered a new secret ingredient in Chinese food, which is aborted babies. They take the aborted babies still in the placenta and mix and blend it with the spices and put it in the wonton soup. They haven't well, told the public what the secret ingredient is yet. I don't think he understands the principle of Germany or Florida. Germany and Florida means it has to be a story that came out of either Germany or Florida, hence the name Germany or Florida. <laughs> I know it is. Th- uh. This story happened in either Germany or Florida. Yeah, seriously, it is. Where, where they take the placenta and put it into egg drop soup. In the, yeah, in the one time soup. <laughs> All right, Germany or Florida? Poor Justin. Justin's been a hold for 71 minutes, so I feel bad for him. Uh, I feel like just out Germany. of respect for him, we'll just we'll just pick. You're going Germany, Drew? Yeah, yeah. Jeff, what do you think? Germany. Germany? Yeah. Germany. I'm going to go Florida just to, just to mix it up. Justin? Of course it's Germany. All right, buddy. All right. Buddy. Yes. Yes. What's what? happening, Justin? You in high school? Yeah. Are you getting laid? All the time. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no! You, you, you can't count. Liar, you liar, can't whore, count yourself. Liar, whore, and you know it. Are you tired, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Hey, just keep listening. We got an iPod Nano to give away. Yeah, Listen I'm, for the I'm system, gonna call and win it. system of a down song. Right. Question <laughs> as the bumper. Be the first person. Say iPod Nano to the screener. You'll win a gift certificate for ten iTunes downloads. You must be eighteen. Is he eighteen? He's uh, sixteen, but he's and, been on uh, hold long right. enough that his and 18th you get birthday's the iPod, coming up. iPod <laughs> Nano. All right, Justin. God love you, brother. What do you want to do for a living? What do you want to do when you get out of high school? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. I'm so set the, the bar low. Nice and low. All right, and then you'll be surprised if you end up doing something. All right, buddy, well, you're going to college, right? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be one of those people that work behind the counter and they mix all the medicine. 
Oh, okay. Pharmacist. I call it a pharmacist. Okay. <laughs> First, you got to go to that place that holds the books. What's that place called again, Drew? Uh, library. Library. Oh, you see, it doesn't have the word book in it, so it's confusing. Yeah, oh. Justin, you got to go to that place that has a, a, a football team and a bell tower and right. a School. dean of students, and uh, then they give you a piece of paper, and then you got to go to this other place that holds the books and look at those, and then you can get to go to that place where you get to <laughs> take the drugs and mix them up and hand them to old people. Uh, behind the counter. All right. There's an must be, library at my school. Must be a thrill, like, living with uh, Justin. It's like, Mom, when am I going to get one of those things you get into that's made of metal that burns <laughs> gas? A car? Yeah. <laughs> and, and by the way, someone's got to someone's got to get me some milk, and to do that, they're going to have to open that metal box with the light in it that's colder than the room. And when are we going to watch that, that thing with the pictures moving around in it and the sound coming out of it? Just everything is new and exciting. <sighs> Jeff Probst in here tonight from uh, Survivor, favorite show on television. We'll uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Line, everybody. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew in uh, Pittsburgh. You know why. Jeff Probst in here. He's, uh, <clears throat> so uh, no better man for the job that he does. No better man. It's true. He just uh, in, brings integrity. We don't know. No one's ever done it. <laughs> now, it just wouldn't work. I just, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't picture it. You're telling me if I left Survivor, it wouldn't work? It would be... Uh, like if, not, um, if Roger Daltrey <laughs> left the Who, yeah, it'd go just fine. No, that it would show not would be just fine. It's God bless you for for being uh, humble about it. But you are that show, and the day Jeff Probst leaves is the day he takes the show with him. But if wow. they're looking for a new host <laughs> and they want to bring a little levity, well, you have no it. time left. Well, I would I would make room in my schedule to. Uh, preside over uh, Team Turbo Max and Team Stealth Nitro. You and Drew could co-host could oh, co oh, awesome. it, sort of, and <laughs> you have Stealth, and he has Turbo. and <laughs> It'd be awesome, us arguing at Tribal Council for 20 uh -huh. minutes <laughs> you know, every one the, night. One of the yeah. best things about uh, Survivor is doing the casting, <clears throat> and when they get into, like you talked about earlier with Hogaboom and stuff, and when they get into the final room where we're at in L.A., one of the things we have in front of us is this little piece of paper, and it has on it all this information, like how much they make, what kind of car they drive, mm -hmm. are they on any kind of drugs, antidepressants, whatever, do they have any STDs, have they ever been arrested, mm -hmm. what's their net worth, All the, and, and it's amazing, on a little sheet of paper, Mm -hmm. You have like 10 little columns, and you know so much about yeah. these people. Well, because so much stands for so much. Like just, you know, what they do stands for so much more than just a job or what their degree of education yep. is or have they been in prison or have they been. These things you speak volumes about about the person in just a couple of words. It must be a, uh, you must be drunk with power when it, you're staring well, at those Well, it's just things. fascinating. And the, and the IQ and the people who, who either... Typically, do they do an IQ test? Yeah. Wow. And the best contestants are either high or low, but the people who are in the middle, like average intelligence, mm -hmm. you know, are typically the people smart enough to know when to calm down, right. not so bright to, you know, go off the Well, chart. is there is there a thing that you either need to be sort of diabolically smart or just so stupid you don't know you can fail? It, whereas the middle sort of can be manipulated and pulled around and it's always going to make it, you know, few people in, but never to the ultimate prize. That's, I think a lot of it is the people in the middle tend to have enough on the ball to, to st hang in there, but mm -hmm. maybe won't take the chances that some, somebody else would. And it's not that low IQ, people who test low IQ haven't won the game or done well, but it's, mm -hmm. it's just interesting that in terms of a test... right. Because survivors about social politics, people come out there and can be dumb as a as a log and have great street smart and read people very right. well. Right. 
Well, I'll tell you. And, and, and this thing was, you, you have a doctor examine everybody. You, obviously, you have to do a thorough background check yeah. on everybody. Oh, augmentation. Yeah, that's another one. Have you had any surgeries to augment your body? And oh, really? Yeah. Good. Nice couple of boob jobs in there. Yeah, that's ama- it's amazing how much surgery has been done. Oh, really? Yeah. Just yep. on people you wouldn't even think. You'd look at them and go, you're kidding. And, well, no, no, I had a you know nipple implant a couple of years ago. Just sure. <laughs> need that third one. Had triplets. <laughs> True had triplets. He had a, an extra nipple put in. Right in the middle of my chest. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wouldn't, That's... Make, wouldn't make sense to do it on your ass or whichever kid got that, the ass nipple. That'd would be like be ner- therapy ner- right Othello now. or wh- Trade off. whatever those. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Othello, I think. Had. Did he have a supernumerary nipple, Drew? I think that's right. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking I don't Natalie, know. Natalie, that'd be hey. a good name for a tribe. Super nipple. <laughs> Super Nipple, I'll see you at Tribal Council tonight. Stealth, head back to camp. <laughs> Limp Chode, I'll see you guys back the next challenge. Natalie? Yes, how's it going? What's up, baby doll? 25. Hey. Um, Dr. Drew, this question's for you. I, uh, I recently graduated. I have my bachelor's, and I plan on going to law school. In the meantime, I'm applying to this job at a car company, car insurance, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I suffer from panic disorder. And right. my doctors had me on Zoloft, right. and I missed my last appointment, and I am so tired all the time. So mm-hmm. before my job interview, my brother gave me some Ritalin. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Don't say anything, but um, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I want to know, the company told me that they're going to do a hair analysis or a mm-hmm. UA or both. And I want to know if they do a hair analysis to see if I'm doing drugs, will that show how long? Same with Boy. the UA. How long does that stay in my system? Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Hold on a second, Drew. I just got to say this. My hair analysis. If I had a company, was uh, you with the mullet? You're not hired. And uh-huh. uh, you with the crazy uh, cholo chick, gangbanger, greasy bangs hanging down. You're gone too. <laughs> I, I would I base I base it all on hair, not at actual looking at it, but actually yeah, how just, they wore it. Yeah. I don't think they're yeah. going to do it because that's really expensive. Worst case scenario, I think they'll do a UA. It, it's expensive and it's very hard to uh, interpret. So there's lots of room for con- for challenge and that's well. Sort of you thing, can't so. not hire someone because they're on Zoloft anyway. No, 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 well, well, well even that, even that, though, well, right? And yeah. That's my second question. Let's say I take a UA. They say, hey, you're on um, amphetamines, whatever. Do I have to disclose my medical? Do I have to say, yeah, you know what? I'm on Zoloft, you know, because that's kind of, that bothers me. Well, yeah, asking, what about it, Drew? Yeah, you're asking a uh, uh, legal question I can't answer. I, I Okay, I, but what, I, how long does it stay in the system? The, the Zoloft, they won't, they won't be screening for that. The Ritalin's out in about 24 hours. Will they screen for Ritalin, or will that come up yeah. with speed? It could come up with speed. It depends what tests they're doing, but it, it'll. I don't think they'll do the hair analysis. I think you could challenge that. I'd be surprised if a single dose would show up, and the urine test will be clean too. So you go. All right. No, the people worry too much about. It. Actually, the people who shouldn't worry about it worry yeah. too much about it, and then the other idiots don't think at all about it. Right. That's really how life works. Which is, some people are freaked out. To, to, to too great a degree about their kids and as kids mm. braces and where are they going to school and I'm going to start saving for college now and I'm going to get piano lessons and taking a therapist. And then other people are like, he can sleep outside. He's 13. He's a big boy. I don't care. Yeah, no, let her boyfriend sleep over. She's in the 10th grade. You know, it's, it seems to be like feast or famine. The reality is somewhere in between would be nice and we never seem to find that balance in this country. True. She's all freaked out. She doesn't have anything to worry about. Drew's worried about his kids and what college they're going to. They'll be fine, Drew. They'll be fine. That's what my brother said. He's got two kids now, and he—that's mm-hmm. what he said the other day. He goes, you know, you you have a baby, and you don't know anything about how to take care of a baby, and then before you know it, they're five, and you realize you just sort of do it. Yeah. What's your brother do? Is he survi- is he a host on a survival show? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's competing station, so I don't talk about it. But yeah, no, my brother's got his own business and does he builds things kind of like you. He, he's pretty. He he would appreciate the recycle. Uh, the recycle Rolla. The recycle Rolla. <laughs> Jimmy named it that. And when he comes to my house next to do some work, I plan on telling him uh, figure out a way to do that. Oh, right out of my little garbage chute into it's my... It's got to be awesome. Your big-time big, big time celebrity brother and his hot girlfriend need a little work done around the house, so they yeah. throw you a bone. Toilet's on the fritz. Handle it, would you, bro? 
I'm uh, going to do some coke with the Johnny The Probst family is very... <laughs> Uh, I'm telling you, Coke is out. Ambient Coke, is ambient. the new Coke. I'm doing some Ambient with Johnny yeah, Depp. Let's get it right. Yeah. I just like, I always like when I was laughing about, you know, assuming your brother hosted a survival show, but it's always funny when people do that. Like, I'll, when, when you go out to order and, and the, like you're with somebody and they're like, yeah, I'll have a burger, uh, no mayo. And then, and you go, uh, yeah, I'll have a burger too. And they go, no mayo. And you're like, <laughs> no. I, I know you think we're probably hanging together because we both like burgers with no mayo, but that's not that wasn't what brought us together. They just sometimes like they, people get on a little roll with stuff. They're like, "Yeah, I'll have an iced tea. What do you want, iced tea too?" Oh uh, like, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't want the same. Yeah, I don't do the. You know, understand? People don't brothers don't have to do the same thing. People that go out to eat don't have to order the same thing. We don't have to get a yeah. burger the same way. And it's usually said, but with that sort of a, you know. Yeah. Your your brother is a builder. Is he a carpenter? Yeah, he's a carpenter. Oh, wow. He's a he's a he pretty much can do anything. He got yeah. that gene as a kid. He can build, fix, tear apart. He's really good. You know what I'd be doing? What's your brother's name? What's his first Brent. Name? Brent. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Salt of the earth, by the way. That name, Brent. That guy's not going to rip you off or gouge nope, you. You're right. He'll take care nope, of you. He'll do a he good will. job. If I Brent, you know what? I, I wouldn't even be a carpenter all day. I'd be like, you know, what my brother is. You know, what my brother is. You know, what my brother is. My brother is? <laughs> Jeff Probst. Jeff, Survivor, seen a little show called Survivor. Oh, uh, no! Look, look at the license. Yeah, well, obviously it's yeah, Brent. Yeah, but you see the last name. That's my brother. I could call him. I could call him. <laughs> I could get him on the phone. You want me to call him? You want to say hi to him? You want him to leave an outgoing message on your machine? That's I could my call mom. Him. He would pick up the phone. I could call him right now. You know what's funny though is I was just sitting there looking at you and thinking of you and Drew. You're a guy. Who, you're just a guy. If people meet you, they go, "Oh, that's Adam Kroll. He's really funny." And if they see Drew, Drew's really funny. Drew's also a doctor. I'm the how did I'm the how did he get so lucky guy? That's the difference. It's like more more envy for that guy. Do you, you now hmm. now you take that and it, it don't take it's not a slap in the face, Go but there's it. a weird there's a weird thing. No, I think you do your job great, and I think people recognize that you you're you're perfect for that role. But there is an element of. If this guy won the lotter, lottery, we're that much more envious of him. Do you see what I'm saying? No. Well, if a guy, if a guy, if a guy says, uh, you know, I busted my ass, I worked hard, I have 15 years of college, right. uh, my parents uh, basically mortgaged a house to get me an education. Now I'm a podiatrist. I'm not that jealous of him. But you show me a guy who just hit the lottery. And that's a guy. I go, you son of a bitch, you dog, you lucky dog, you traveling around, great looking chicks all over the place, getting paid to see these exotic locations. So there's more. See, I see what see, you're saying. You're taking yeah, yeah, it yeah. as a negative. I hit the lottery. I, yeah. I think it's even. I think we're even more envious because yeah, of the he lottery he nature. Like people, he doesn't like people being envious of him. That's sort of a negative. Oh, oh, I see. Well, T.S. That's what I have to say to that. Adam wants people to be ne envious. That's why he screams about being a millionaire all the time. Literally. Literally a millionaire. What is, your, what is your net worth? Literally a millionaire. I can't <laughs> count that high. <laughs> I'm literally a millionaire. We'll take a uh, quick break. Jeff Probst We took is, no uh, calls. Here. <laughs> I know. All right, come on. Did anybody buddy. win the iPod? I, listen, what do you two got to gang up on me for like this? You know I like the sound of my own voice. It's funny. Thanks. I don't. I think the last thing we just talked about was bored. We would cut it if we could go back. It was not interesting, and I started it. And I'm all sorry. Right. All right, all right, buddy. I like that kind of self-deprecation. We'll take a, a quick break. I don't know who won the iPod. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Get in it. Yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah. Get it on. Drew, what's going on? It's like a well, underclap. It's a, it's, you, it's, a, it's a radio station, right? Yeah. And so it's a microphone on that crazy arm, right? <laughs> yes. Got to yes. be some loose pieces, right? Sure. Yeah, but right. you have to punch the microphone as it's No, that wasn't around? punching. That wasn't punching. All right. Easy, brother. Jeff Probst. Handsome. Handsome Jeff Probst. Classically. Drew, are you, are you mad? Probst. Yeah. Mad? Yeah, are you upset? No, 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 okay. not at all. That there's something between us? I don't know, us? I just sensed, no, I just sensed a little in that last comment about... Oh, well, that he, he gives me grief about something that's, you know, I have no control over. I got it. Okay, buddy. Lighten up, would you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a rapist. Okay, Drew, that's enough. 
Now let's help some kids, shall we? There we go. Well, no, let's not. Let's not. Huh? Don't do it. What? Don't. No. Don't. Ashley? Yeah? You're 18? Uh-huh. Drew didn't want to talk to you, but I wanted to help. What's your problem? Um, okay. My boyfriend, every time we have sex, he wants me to put a toy in his butt. And I don't understand why. Hmm. I'm going yeah. bogus call. I'm going bogus, too, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm serious. I mean, is, is he gay? I, I mean, I just don't understand. No, now, now, now that's robot. getting really bogus. All right, it has nothing to do with sexual orientation. It is the rare guy that likes that done, but there are guys that like that. I don't rare. believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe her don't either. Believe me? No. No. I've called tw two times in a row trying to... I'm serious. He, what, is, what is the last thing you put in his butt? He wants me to put a toy. What's what the last it? thing? He wants me to put a dildo in his butt. Have you done it? Uh, to make him happy, yes. What kind of dildo was it? Um... I don't know. It's just a normal one, like one that has a suction cup at the at the bottom of it. I think. Oh, really? Dash mount. Is that yeah. what it is? <laughs> I don't. Oh I assume God. that's what you do with those. <laughs> Move over, Jesus. You oh. got a partner. I don't. Oh my God. <laughs> you tell me the ones with the suction cup aren't to put on it. Oh, I gotta go out to the parking lot then because this is embarrassing. <laughs> I just assumed that that's what that what that suction cup was there for. I was wondering why, you know, uh, again, uh, uh, some Ashley things are really starting to come into focus it's now. It's a peculiar request. Most guys have aversion to that, don't like that at all, but there are the occasional guy that does like that. So he's, so is he not gay? It has nothing to do with sexual orientation. Nothing to do. Uh, it, it's got to help a little bit. It no, helps. Nothing significant to do with that. Yeah. He could be an extreme man of passion. He could be a man whose passion trumps you know, yeah, even I'm, Jeff I'm, and our own no, Dr. Drew. I haven't figured out what oh, that is. Oh, so really convenient. Yeah, so convenient for you to throw him out of your passion club. Yes. You so bet. convenient, Drew. Yeah, well, convenient. But is it naive? But is it naive? But don't it, okay. I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying if, if, if somebody could, could make the passion argument, maybe this guy's just so passionate that he needs to have two things going on simultaneously. Something, something might come out of both ends if they don't plug it up. He's so passionate. No, well, I'm just saying, you know, you don't understand his passion, but there are right, others right, who don't right. understand okay. your passion. All right. Must you be such a passion judge? Mm. Ashley? Yeah? Drew's punching the mic. It's a protest. No, this, it, it, it is this little s screen that just falls down. I'm going to do it again. Here, it That's just hit. it. Yes, yes. Ashley? Yeah? What else does this guy do? I don't trust him. Um, I don't know. He... He does some drugs, I guess. <laughs> What's he do? Um, coke and weed. And right. he takes pills. Well, just pills, coke, and, and pills. weed. Just just ambient. I, I, thought he had, I thought he had a drug problem. I didn't know it was just pills, coke, and weed. But it does, does, the, really, the syringe is the only thing he left out is in terms of means of ingesting drugs. Ashley, I don't like this guy. I think you could do better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think nobody would be better. How about that? What's up with you? Nothing. What do you do? Why would you be with a guy like that? I don't know. Junior college? Um, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Well, what are you crying about something? You? No, huh? she's trying to listen to the radio. He's in the room. What do you do? <laughs> what are you doing for work? Um, I work for a hypnotherapist. Oh, really? She's crying. Yeah. Are you crying? Um, no. Yeah. What you, what's the matter? Are you depressed? Kind of, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's, are you... It's because if... I mean, if he says that I satisfy by him... He's what? He, okay, he tells me that I satisfy him, but if I satisfy him, then why does he want some something in his butt? I don't get that. Like... <laughs> I hate to laugh when she's crying, but it is kind of funny. But, but th that that has n that's not what concerns us so much about him, just the fact that he's an addict. Yeah. That's a All big right. concern. Hold on. And, we, and we, sometimes I, I, addicts, by the way, sometimes addicts need high levels of stimulation just to be over to feel sexual. If, A, they were mm -hmm. sexually abused or beaten when they were growing up, or, B, they're on drugs that prevent them from feeling sexual, so they have to sort of overcome that. Mm. This may be that. It may be the bio biological state he's in right now. Wow. And, but, Drew, is part, is part of this, too, that 
uh, and I'm not excluding you, Adam. Sorry, sitting out. Go ahead. But the whole thing about about it being the the butt is somehow connected to being gay. Whereas if he liked his, uh, you know, the side of his whatever, his chest rubbed crazy, she wouldn't think that was weird. Am I making it, any it, sense? Yes, well, yes. And it, it, it all kind of punchy. smacks. It smacks of childhood sexual abuse. It does. All right, a- the Ashley. Does. Uh-huh. Ashley, here's the thing. You're uh, you're 18. Uh-huh. Why why chain yourself to this anchor? Do you, you know what I mean? Uh, let me let me give a quick speech to the kiddies out there. At, at 18, you do not need to contend with the things that you may have to contend with later on in life. Because <laughs> later on in life, you get married. Somebody kids. has somebody gets strung out on Ambien. A couple of kids are born. Before you know it, there's responsibilities. Maybe you have a kid. What? Maybe something's wrong with one of the children. Maybe autism, whatever. God knows, could happen. There are things, and you must stick it out. You can't abandon that family. You can't abandon that child. But at 18, if you get hooked up with a guy once uh, some of the suction cup, really not for the dash, in in his ass, and he's pill popping, and he's smoking weed, and he's whatever, just cut bait. Move on. Yeah, you're 18. For sure. you're, you're female. I assume you're cute. Just go find some guy at the junior college. Doesn't have a bunch of baggage. Doesn't make you feel lesser than. And just have a nice, normal relationship. I know it's going to be tough because daddy wasn't normal. And that's all you use is your template. Right, but see right. if you can break free of that template. Find a nice guy. Have a normal relationship. Because when guys are screwed up uh, and they're in a relationship, you know it every single day. Like, you can work with guys that are effed up. I work with a bunch of them. You can play hoops with them. You can do many, many things with effed up guys. Not but you be in a relationship. Be in a no. relationship with them. That's a good point. That's where it all comes out. So please, why challenge yourself that way? We'll take a quick break. Jeff Probst is here from the greatest show on television, and we'll be back after this. Well, that's it, everybody. I want to thank Jeff Probst for coming in tonight. Survivor. Jeff's got, Jeff's got a yes. date with Ambien. Hey, listen, Jesse from Fontana, 22, won the uh, iPod and the 10 downloads from uh, iTunes. Awesome. Right on. Nano. Ambien would be a great black name for uh, David Allen Greer. Oh, yeah. So he'll go to town. Uh, put it on the list, Drew. My birthday's <laughs> coming up. All right. God bless uh, Jeff Probst. Until next time, Sam Kroll for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Pow! How you like me now, Probst? This has been Love Line. Love Line. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or the station. The producer for Love Line is Annie Gold. Love Line is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.